acid, base, and the pH. pH written and presented as lowercase p and capitalized H. It presents the power of hydrogen or the hydrogen ion concentration and that is mathematically described as negative log and hydrogen ion. Water plays a fundamental role in chemistry of acid, base, and pH. Let us recall our previous discussion of water and connect it with pH. The polarity, electronegativity, hydrogen bonding, and constant motion or movement of water molecules makes it as an emergent characteristic of water. Water, whether inside a bottle, in a glass, or water in the oceans, rivers, and seas, or even inside the cell, are bound to undergo self-ionization or self-dissociation of water. It happens when two or more molecules of water collide and one occasionally pulls a hydrogen ion away from the other. Shown by the equation below, at the left of the equation, you may see the reactants of two water molecules. And at the right side of the equation, the product are represented by hydroxide ion, OH, and hydronium ion at the right, H3O. As you may notice, there is an occasional pooling of hydrogen ion from the hydroxide ion that makes the hydronium ion possess three hydrogen. And the double arrow in between them depicts that only a fraction of water molecule will self-ionize. That is too little of a fraction. And the clip at the left side will clearly show that hydrogen ion is being pulled from one water molecule to the other molecule. And this occurrence is said to be so rare that this is equivalent to a negative log 1 in a 10 million to 280 million of ion in every water molecules. This simply explains that this self-ionization or self-dissociation of water is so rare to happen and that there would only be one ion to undergo self-ionization for every 10 million to 280 million of water molecules. And that's why this has been considered as negative log 1 times 10 to the negative 7. A log is the opposite of exponent. And that, if you will input that in a calculator, you will, re you will result to pH having a value of 7 which is equivalent to neutral. The Bronsted Lori Acid Base Model. When we talk of acid base, we refer to Bronsted Lori definition. In 1923, Danish chemist Johannes Bronsted 
and an English chemist, Thomas Lorry, proposed an acid-base model. They proposed that an acid donates a proton and that a base accepts a proton. They described the acid-base reaction as a proton transfer reaction. Further, a proton has been identified as from hydrogen ion. That means it has one proton and one electron. But if hydrogen ion loses an electron, all that is left is a proton. And proton is an important concept in chemistry. Moreover, hydrogen ion, proton, and hydronium can all be interpreted as one and it can be used interchangeably in bronsted lorry acid model. The bronsted lorry acid base model further explains the ampoteric property of water molecule. It states that a water molecule can either act as an acid or a base depending on the medium and from the previous definition acid denotes proton and base accept protons by looking at the illustration equation at the right the reactants at the left where there are two water molecule one at the left side act as an acid donor and one water at the right side of the reactant act as a base acceptor this is indeed a definition of ampoteric meaning one water molecule is an acid donor or can play as a role of an acid donor and another water molecule can play as a base acceptor and play the role of a base acceptor. Now looking keenly at the right side of the equation at the product the OH negative or the hydroxide ion forms as a conjugate pair of the acid donor. Together, an acid donor water pair with hydroxide ion and that is illustrated by a violet color pair. However, the hydronium ion that is at the right side of the product of equation having received hydrogen ion will pair with the water base acceptor and it will also form a pair as a conjugate acid base pair together the green color of water as a base acceptor and the green color of hydronium creates a conjugate acid base pair pH it is a measure of how acidic or a basic a water is. And it is also a relative measure of free hydrogen and hydroxyl ion. In a room temperature at 25 degrees centigrade, a solution with a pH value of 7 is said to be neutral. If the pH is less than 7, then it is acidic. If greater than 7, this is alkaline or a base. Now, in order for us to identify whether a solution is an acid or a base, or given a solution, an indicator will be of help. 
And an indicator is, uh, it is a weak acid that exists as a natural dyes. An indicator will indicate the concentration of either the hydrogen ion, or also known as the hydronium or proton ions, in a solution via a color change. An indicator can be in a liquid form, or it can be in a powder dye, or a dye-infused paper strip. An indicator will and can change the pH color by showing different shades. And a change in color would mean that there is a dissociation of hydrogen ion and weak acid is indicated. And that weak acid or hydrogen ion is from the indicator itself. Now, let's take a look at the liquid indicator. In a liquid indicator, a purple color would mean alkalinity. And a pink color would mean acidity. And the same thing goes with the pow powder indicator. Once the powder is dissolved, a purple color would indicate alkalinity or the base. And a pink color would indicate an acid. However, the paper litmus test is the most commonly used of all. And this can indicate a pH range of 4.5 to 8.3. Now, let's take a look at the red litmus paper. When deep in an uh, acid solution, it will create a color change of red to blue. That is to the part that's being deep. And this will indicate alkalinity. Again, a red litmus paper will have a change of red to blue. And this will indicate alkalinity. And on the other hand, a blue litmus paper, when dipped in a basic solution, will create and turn into blue to red. That is a part dip, and this will indicate acidity. Again, a blue litmus paper will turn into blue to red, and this will indicate acidity. But, having said all of the indicators, whether the liquid, powder, or litmus paper, the question of a specific pH measure is still unknown. And this will lead us to the next slide discussion of the pH scale. The pH scale, it is used to rank a solution in terms of acidity or alkalinity. It is also a relative measure of free hydrogen and hydroxyl ions. Now, pH scale is used to specify a number in acidity or alkalinity which ranges from 0 to 14, from which the indicators cannot pinpoint. Now, let's take a look and listen to the pH scale in a vertical diagram. Now, the pH value is being represented in a different colors. At the right and at the left are the equivalent hydronium or hydrogen ion at the left. From which 7 being in the middle that is colored in blue has a neutral value or equivalent to neutral. That means there is an equal hydrogen ion concentration. Now, as we go upward from pH value of 6 to 0, this will indicate acidity value. Now, from the pH of 6, it has an equivalent of 10 hydronium in a given solution. That's not too much. Now, as we go upward, a pH of 3 
A pH of 3 will indicate that the hydronium has increased in number to 10,000. That means in a given beaker at your right side, the red molecules will indicate an increasing number of hydronium. Now, as we go to the extreme, a pH value of 0, there is a drastic increase in the number of hydronium indicated by a beaker at the right side with the red molecules. And that, this indicate that as the pH is decreasing, there is an increasing number of hydronium ion or the hydrogen ion within a given solution. And that acidity is increasing. Now, from the middle, let's move down. From the pH of 8, it has an equivalent value of 1 over 10 of a hydronium or hydro, hydrogen ion, which is now only a fraction. Now, we move to pH 11. It has decreased its volume to 1 over 10,000. And the beaker at the right side indicates that the red molecule, the hydronium, is decreasing in number. And that is only 1 over 10,000 in a solution. Or 1 times 10 to the negative 4 or 0 0.00. Zero 01. Now let's go to the extreme. That is a pH of 14. pH of 14 will now have a drastic decrease in hydronium to no hydronium at all. 1 over 10 million, and that is a little fraction, which is equivalent to 1 times 10 to the negative 7 or point. Zero, 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 7. Now, as we go down from a pH value of 8 to 14 in a vertical pH scale, that is an increasing pH value of 8 to 14, that means alkalinity is increasing. And that the hydronium I had or hydrogen ion is decreasing in quantity. And as alkalinity increases, the number of hydrogen decreases. Now, by looking at the horizontal scale, each value here has a corresponding real-life equivalent. Now, let's take a look at water. Being in the middle with a pH value of 7, it is said to be an ampoteric water. That means a water can either be an acid or a water can either be a base. Now, let's take a look at a value of 7.35 to 7.45, which represents the blood. From which we have to maintain the pH volume or level of blood. Because when it goes up or either when it goes down, there will be a drastic physiological or pathological repercussion. Let's take a look at lemon. Lemon within a pH value of 2. And we can imply that all sour tasting will signify an acidic concentration. Now, let's take a look at the value of pH 10. And this refers to stomach tablets or the antacids. The antacids are the malox, the aluminum hydroxide, calcium carbonate, and the gabiscon. These are the common medication given to the patient to contradict hyperacidity at a pH value of 10. Now, speaking of acidity, stomach acid can be found at a pH value of 1. And this is considered as the strongest physiological acid in the body. And this aids in the digestion. And finally, let's take a look at pH value 11. And that is ammonia and H3. This ammonia is a vital component of metabolic process. Now, finally, an accurate pH reading 
they can buy a pH meter. A pH meter is a device at the upper right side. A reading of a pH meter can be well appreciated as we can drop it and plot it in a pH scale, which in turn, it will remind us that we should be aware of the pH value and the level of not only the food, but the things in our surroundings. This is in order for a living organism like us to maintain health and for survival.